Science to Quarter 1 Week 4 Measuring Volume Good morning kids! It's science class again! Are you excited to learn new things? Come, let's learn and have fun! Before we start our lesson, let us first have a review. Let us answer the following questions. Number 1. How can we classify materials? Very good, kids! We can classify materials according to their physical properties, kind, function, and usefulness. Number 2. Can you give materials in your household that can be harmful? Good job! Some of them are stone rock, muriatic acid, insecticides, and etc. And the last one, what will you do to harmful materials in your household? Great! Put them in a safe place away from the reach of children. Look kids, do you know what I am doing? Yes, you are right. I am baking a delicious batch of cookies. How many of you have ever baked a cake or made a batch of cookies? Very good! Well, chances are you've used tools to measure precise ingredients in order to make the tasty treat perfect. By measuring something like flour, you are measuring volume. There are many ways to describe an object like what we have done in our previous lesson. We can talk about an object from how tall it is, what color, or whether it is hard or soft. When we talk about it, it is the physical properties of matter. Objects have many physical properties, and one of them is the volume. What is a volume? A volume is the amount of space an object takes up, whether liquid like water or solid like sugar. For today's lesson, we are going to study the different ways to measure the amount of space regular solids and liquids occupy. And for our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to discover ways of measuring the amount of space regular solids and liquids occupy, infer that the amount of space occupied by gas is indefinite. How do we measure the amount of space regular solids and liquids occupy? What are the tools that we can use to measure the volume? We will find out about it as we go deep in our lesson. For regular solid, volume is the measure of the size of an object just like the illustration below. We measure the length, the width, and the height to get the volume of this regular solid. What are the tools that we're going to use to measure the length, the width, and the height? For regular solid objects, we use ruler, tape measure, meter sticks to measure the length. What is a meter rule? A meter rule is used to measure the length of an object or distance between two points. Measures length in millimeters and centimeters. It is made up of different materials and in a wide range of size. Next is the measuring tape. Measuring tapes are used to measure length in meters and centimeters. It is a common measuring tool. It is used by carpenters. 
it contains of a ribbon of cloth, plastic, fiber, or glass. Its design allows to measure of great length. We also have unit cubes. We use unit cubes for volume of three-dimensional figure. The number of unit cubes that forms a figure without gaps or overlap is the volume of that figure. For example, we're going to find out the volume of hollow box. This is the hollow box and we are going to use the cubic centimeter. The volume of the hollow box is equal to the number of 1 cubic centimeter cubes that fill the hollow space. And the volume of this hollow box is equal to 8 cubic centimeter. How about the volume of liquids? How do we measure the volume of liquids? We use graduated cylinders, measuring cups, beakers, and droppers to accurately measure the volume of the liquids needed. Most of these tools are measured in liters or milliliters. We have beaker and graduated cylinders. These are used to measure liquids. They range as a variety of sizes depending in how much volume you need to find. Next is the drop. This tool is used to measure very small amount of liquid or to measure volume by counting drops. Next one is the measuring cups. Measuring cups and spoons used to measure liquids like water, oils, etc., and solids like sugar, salt, flour, and etc. They come in different sizes like 1 half cap and 1 fourth cap and so on. There are steps to measure volume. The first one, Make sure your eyes is level with the container you are measuring. Always measure volume in graduated cylinder at the bottom of the meniscus. Read the measurement on the scale. Record your data. You measure solid, example sugar, salt, and etc. the same way as liquids. Make sure that the top is smooth before you read the volume. How about the volume of gas? Gas is a phase of matter which has no definite shape and volume, such as oxygen, hydrogen, or carbon dioxide. We can buy them in tanks with meter gauge, so space occupied by air is indefinite. Let's try this. Answer the following questions. How do you define the word volume? Very good, kids! It is the amount of space an object takes up whether liquid or solid. Number two, identify at least three tools used to measure volume. Great! We have meter stick, graduated cylinder, cubic centimeter, and etc. Number 3. Which of the following is used to measure the volume of a liquid? Is it A, B, C, or D? Yes, the answer is letter D, the graduated cylinder. Good job, kids! Now I think you're ready to answer our activity. Get your pencil and your worksheet in science. Let us answer the different activities in your worksheet. For learning time, one, 
the direction, read the question below, and circle the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which is an example of a physical property? Is it A. Volume, B. Color, C. Size, or D. All of the answer are examples of physical property? And circle the letter of your answer. Number 2. Which statement is true? A. Two objects can never have the same volume. B. Two objects can have the same volume if they take up the same amount of space. C. Two objects will always have the same volume if they are made of the same materials. And letter D. Two objects can only have the same volume if they have the same weight. Number 3. Which household objects measure volume? Is it A. Ruler B. A bathroom scale C. A measuring cup Or D. A thermometer Number 4. Which of the following tools measure the volume of liquids? A. Ruler B. Tape measure C. Cube centimeter or D. Graduated cylinder Number 5. Look at the water on the graduated cylinder. What is the volume of the water? Is it A. 80 ml B. 70 ml C. 75 ml or D. 76 ml Next, learning task 2. Direction, what would you choose to measure the volume of each of the following products or objects that can found in your kitchen? Choose the letter of your answer in the box. Write your answer in the blank before each number. Letter A, liquid measuring cup. B, centimeter rule or meter stick. C, Measuring spoons and D. Dry measuring cups. Number one, we have milk. Number two, flour. Number three, pan. Number four, bed sheet. Number five, chopping board. Six, we have water. Seven, salt. Eight, soy sauce. And nine, rice. Write the letter of your answer. For learning task three, Circle the object that holds more volume than the other pair. Choose your answer correctly. Well done kids! Did you get all the correct answer kids? Very good! I hope you have learned and enjoy our online class today. Goodbye kids! See you next science class. This is your teacher Chin. Goodbye!